Jake, can you walk us through that field goal at the end? What was your range on, on that end too? Oh, I don't. I don't know that the range really even mattered at that point. Um, <clears throat> I think going into the game, we were saying 58, 59, so uh, well within. Um, just want to go out there and hit a good ball. I think a lot was made like with switching holders, kind of here in midstream to go to Braden Man. Looks yep. like just kind of business as usual. Yeah, Braden's been awesome. Braden's been awesome. Um, he's he's a great holder, always has been. So it was a pretty seamless transition. Um, got everything right for me, and uh, I feel I feel real comfortable with him. I know we've talked in the past about kicking both ends here, the open end versus the close end. Mm -hmm. Remind me, is the close end the easier part, or is it? Oh, uh, typically, typically uh, today that was probably preferable. It was, <clears throat> it was a little gusty and swirly in there, but uh, I, that's the reason we kicked off that way in overtime. What's it like when Jordan Mailata picks you up? <laughs> scary, it's scary. You ever seen the, uh, uh, the longest yard scene where they pick him up? Yeah. Yeah, I feel really good. I feel really good. Um, <clears throat> I feel like I'm building every week, uh, just hitting, hitting a really consistent ball, and um, it's it's paying off right now. We're getting a lot of opportunities. When you kick, obviously <coughs> over time, I, you know the situation. I, you try. I imagine you try to approach every kick the same way. How do you sort of balance that? Yeah, I was kind of in that zone um, for for a while there. I was thinking that. That was going to come down to me there in, in the fourth quarter. And then um, <clears throat> obviously had the long touchdown pass and uh, prolonged it a little bit. But uh, yeah, I try to get into that mindset on the sideline, knowing, knowing it's coming down to me, really really zoning in. But but yeah, it's it's the same every kick. I have, I have a process. I'm hitting, hitting balls into the net on every down and just kind of visualizing every kick. And um, I was happy to put that one through. Jake, how do you mentally prepare knowing it's going to come down to you to <laughs> win the game? Yeah, I mean, it's something I've been doing my whole life, right? As a, I, I love it when those situations come down to me. Um, I always have, and in tennis growing up, and baseball, being the last batter, whatever it may be, um, it's just kind of something I've always done and always felt real comfortable in. And um, <clears throat> for whatever reason, uh, I, I, I just really love those situations. Jake, saw you earlier in the week just go from out hitting 70-yard, trying 70-yard kicks in practice, 72-yard. Uh, I, I like to feel comfortable from those distances, whether whether those are ever going to come up or not. I mean, I had a pretty strong tailwind in practice when I was doing that, but uh, <clears throat> it's a good reminder just to have fun and um, during practice situations when you get to go do those. Those are those are fun kicks for me. I like to enjoy it, and uh, and it's one of those things where I'm, I'm I'm trying to make good contact, see how the ball is going to be affected for that long of a distance, and uh, I've, I've I've gotten real comfortable over over those uh, the last couple couple years. We saw the four-year one kick. They uh, they called a timeout, and you ran to the sideline and kicked into the net. Why do you do that? It's just part of part of my process. I like feeling in the same rhythm as I would any other kick. So if I go over, kick one into the net, trot back out, feels like any other field goal. You guys are four and zero in a variety of different ways to start the season. What I guess in the long run can you guys get as a group out to the fact that you're finding multiple ways to win? Yeah, Jalen was just talking about this. It's it's putting us. Putting us in great situations where, where we face adversity and 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 you feel a little pressure, right? You get into those pressure situations, and um, I think those situations where, where you're going to feel them down the stretch, late in the year, into the playoffs, um, it's it's good to have those uh, to to look back on and, and learn from, and um, it, it makes people feel more comfortable in those pressure situations. Did you feel comfortable in this stressful situation today? I mean, how do you? I mean, yeah, it's like I said, it's something I've been doing my whole life, and I and I. I really live for those. I really like those situations, and um, that one felt really good. Um, it's it's been a while since we've had a true walk off, so uh, for me that was that was fun to be able to do again. Late in tight games like that, do you feel your teammates kind of staying away from you on purpose? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I I always kind of stay off on my own during games. I, I I really do have a good process over there, and I think people know not to go go mess with me, whether it's normal course of a game or or in those OT situations. So. Um, I don't think anything was really different. Good. Good. Okay, thanks. All right, thanks, guys.